Nipsey's music is just so motivating, like talking about the hard work and the grind, like, yeah, it was, it's dope. Everything he says is so real. I hella fuck with Nipsey. I actually got this tattooed for him. Oh, wow, what life. does that say? Bigger Than Life, it's one of his songs. Yo, yeah. that is dope. Yeah. Really like that. I mean, if you can't tell, I love tattoos. Yeah. Like, um, so appreciate you. Of course. For, you know, being such a fan girl. Of course. <laughs> Definitely. That's a f- I think that's what comes first, just being a fan. Mm-hmm. For sure. That's big facts. So is MGK one of your favorite artists? I mean, he wasn't, but now after that experience, he was for okay. sure. Like my homie actually put me on him and like when he came out with Steve-O, the okay. wild boy shit. Facts. But yeah. Ev- after that festival, I would, I literally listened to his album Hotel Diablo on repeat, like literally every single song just resonated with me, especially after you see an artist kill it in their live performance. It makes you love the music 10 times over. Do you love Rap Devil? What do you think about 88 Rising? I love them. I actually just covered their uh, Heads in the Cloud Festival. Yeah, I'm tight with them. Shout out to Anders, um, who manages all of them. Yeah, they're really dope. I think it's crazy to see that's like the first Asian American label type situation. It's like, damn, you know, they're the first ones. And they're so dope. They're so lit. Like, I remember I brought Joji to the station and like, you know, he, everything he does goes viral. It's crazy. And like each artist has their own personality, own music, own style. It's dope. It's really dope. That's fact. <laughs> Yo, this is Leo Black exclusively at Dame Dash Studios, and this is Leo Black Show.